Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the OtterBox Defender for the HTC One M8 and the iPhone 5. We're going to sort of group them together. Now, as you can see right here, I've already got the M8 inside the OtterBox Defender, and it looks pretty awesome. It works good. The screen is still responsive on this phone. I mean, it works great. You got all the access to all your ports, your, your IR blaster, uh, everything still works just the same. That's your, your little power button up there at the top. Cameras, flash, here's your volume. Down here at the bottom, you got this little thing you flip out for your charger and your headphone jack. So all that works good. And over here on the side, you got like a little, it's like a little uh, latch to keep everything locked in place. But that has nothing to do with the phone. That's got the case. So let's go ahead and put the OtterBox on the iPhone 5. So here is your skeleton, I like to call it. So you just go ahead and flip this little baby open. And... You know, it's a little bit tricky doing this one-handed. And for those of you that don't know, which I don't share it very often, I had a motorcycle accident in 2004, which paralyzed my right arm. And I have to do everything with one hand. That's the reason you don't never see my right hand inside the videos, because I can't use it. I wish I could. You know, I, I get a lot of rude remarks. People making comments, you know, why don't you use your other hand and blah, blah, blah. You know, well, they don't, they don't know, so I, I try to overlook them. I have everything taken apart like it should be. Now, if you've never put one of these together, they can be a little tricky. The way I like to do it is I like to set my top right down in the right down in the bottom just like so and then you you know make sure that everything is like it's supposed to be you can see you got your opening over here for your rocker volume rockers and your vibrate button or delete or silent button whatever you want to call it and then all you have to do is simply just flip this one over and then just mash everything down snap it into place you'll hear it clicking and then go all the way around making sure that everything has been snapped together now if you'll do it like i just showed you that will keep you from getting fingerprints or anything on the inside of this case that's about the easiest way i've learned to do this and then the next thing that you need to do is just put your rubber down like that and top in first is the way I go, like so. And then I'll just work it around. And you just got to keep working that thing, boys. You know how to work it. You just keep working it till you get everything just like baby bear soup. Okay. Now these corners can be a little tricky too because they got things on them. But be careful now, don't pull and stretch that in here at the bottom because you've only got that one little string right there and you could pop it and break it. You know, these rubbers will break, guys, if you didn't know that. There's how you put the OtterBox Defender on the iPhone 5. Now, the, I, the, the M8 is just as easy, so, you know... Keep that in mind. It's not very hard to do. It works the same way. And I got a little surprise for all of you that waited to the end. We're going to give one of these away. If you want an M8, let me know in the comments. Leave, leave a comment below with your preferred M8 Defender or you want the OtterBox iPhone Defender. We'll give one of each away. Okay? So let me, we're going to run this two weeks and then I'll announce the winners on Twitter. So you're going to have to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. You have to be subscribed to my feed 
on my iPhoneCaptain.com site. All that means is you'll get a little email every so often telling you that I have made some new posts. Anytime I make new posts, it's like at the end of the day, you'll get an update just keeping you up to date on everything. It's something you should enjoy, okay? I'll leave that link below too so you can subscribe to that. So there's four things you got to do. Subscribe to my post on iPhone Captain. Of course, you got to be subscribed here. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and leave a comment here below which one you want. All right? Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, guys. Share it on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.